Cardinal Varsity Boys and the PS PSJ North Raiders here at Harlingen High School. As we get ready for the tip-off, Cardinals will have first possession. Daniel Bada finding Pete Robles on the outside. PSJ attacking with some great defense right away, finding Charlie Powers. Does get fouled. Powers will go to the line to shoot two. PSJ quick on that rebound. We'll move that ball past half court, going straight for the basket. Matthew Cervantes is there to stop that, but at the same time, gaining a foul, which will send um, number 15, Paul Reyes, to the line for the Raiders. Second free throw will fall, and that'll be the first point on the board tonight for the Raiders. Daniel Ibarra finding Gilbert Ressa in the corner. Going back to Ressa. And PSJ North coming out firing on defense. Cardinals trying to bring some pressure. Using their quickness there to disrupt the offense. Daniel Ibarra on the break. Find Ressa again on the three-point line. Ressa will strike, and it's good for three points. The Cardinal offense showing up right away. Cardinals again putting that pressure on here in the backcourt, coping for a turnover, and they do. Daniel Ibarra for a quick two. Cardinals using their great defense here. Raiders trying to find a hole. Matthew Cervantes gets a block in there. PSG North will drive. That'll create a foul on. Number 32, Matthew Cervantes. We'd like to take this time to thank Harlingen High School's principal, Emel de Munibus, our superintendent, Dr. Steve Flores, and the HCISD school board members for making this possible. Our school board members include Jerry Fleurier, president, Dr. Cesar Maldonado, vice president, George McShann, secretary, Verna Young, Javier de Leon, Greg Powers, and Dr. Nolan Reyes. We are here in the first quarter of tonight's matchup. District 31, 5A, Cardinals with a small lead, five, Raiders one. Pete Robles finding Charlie Powers inside. In and out, Cardinals will get a second attempt here. Ibarra's gonna strike from the three-point line, and it's good. That'll bring the score eight to one on behalf of the Cardinals. Cardinals using that pressure up court. Raiders able to find one player all alone. And Cardinals just doing a great job of, of really taking it to the Raiders tonight on defense. That'll be Raiders ball. Raiders trying to work the ball outside, looking for an open man. 
and they do. Oh, but Charlie Powers is there to get that ball out. Great eye by Powers. Ibarra will bring that ball down. And tonight the Cardinals have Gre uh, Gilbert Ressa, Daniel Ibarra, Pete Robles, Jaime Garza, and Charlie Powers on the court tonight here in the first quarter. Raiders quickly, quickly advancing the ball. Going straight to the hoop to strike, and that's a great spin move by the Raiders, and that'll give them two points. Gilbert, that's a point guard directing his team, looking for Jaime Garza down the baseline. Garza goes in and gets the foul. But they, excuse me, that was called on a, as an offensive foul, so no points will be given, and that'll be PSJ North basketball. The Raiders trying to quickly move the ball. Cardinals bringing in their two-man defense here. And a miscued pass there by the Raiders will result in a turnover, giving that ball over to the Cardinals. Jaime Garza once again trying that baseline. Raiders will get that ball down to Ibarra with a clean steal straight to the bucket. And it's good for two points. That'll bring the score 10, Cardinals, Raiders 3. Here in the middle of the first quarter. Jaime Garza trying to block that ball but will be called with a foul. We want to thank our athletic director, Randy Creters, as well as the two coaches for tonight's teams, the visiting PSJ North Raiders, Coach Jaime Gongora, and the home court team, Coach Greg Yates. Ressa quickly advancing that ball to Matthew Cervantes, pulling up for a jumper. Pete Robles there, scrambling for that rebound. And that'll be an out-of-bound call on the Raiders. As he just slightly stepped on that out-of-bound line. So it's a good eye on the official, just keeping track of everything that's going on on the court tonight. And Daniel Bada does a great job of finding Matthew Cervantes for a quick two. It's a great use of an inbound play. On an inbound play, you just want to strike right away. The Raiders weaving that ball, trying to find their way inside. Matthew Cervantes strong on that rebound. Knocked out of bounds by the Raiders. Little bit of traffic there inside. We'll give the ball back to the Cardinals. Danny Ibarra inbounding that ball. Once again, finding Matthew Cervantes for a quick two. Executing that inbound play precisely. PHJ North trying to get to the hoop. That'll send Steve Solis to the line for the Raiders. <laughs> for 
first free throw will count. And for the Cardinals, we have Omar Hunter coming in. Second free throw does count. That gives us a score of Cardinals 14, PSJ 6. Danny Ibarra quickly trying to get in there, does get that ball stolen. And the Cardinals doing a great job of trapping, cause a turnover. Ibarra just slowing down the game just a little bit to set something up for his team. Posting up the big man, Charlie Powers. Pete Robles shooting the outside jumper. Doesn't quite get that. And Raiders trying to shoot from the three-point line, and they get that shot. Bringing them within five points here of the Cardinals. We have David Pryor coming in to the game for the Cardinals. Better looking for an open man, fights Pete Robles to David Pryor. David Pryor attacking the basket. Will be called on a traveling call as he does trip there. using their infamous two-man trap, trying to cause some turnovers. But the Raiders are able to go ahead and execute, get two points on the board. Ibarra setting up his team there, calling the play. With about 30 seconds left on the clock here in the first quarter. Foul called on the Raiders, it'll be on the floor. And the Raiders defense will cause a timeout here, giving the coaches a chance to go ahead and regroup with their teams. You're watching the game between Harlingen Cardinal Boys versus PSJ North Raiders. Here as we start to close out the first quarter, Cardinals leading by 3, 14 to 11. Looks like the Cardinals are going to try to get the last bucket here of the quarter. Pete Nobles striking from the three-point line, and it's good. And the Cardinals so far just bringing it, bringing it on that three-point line. Nine out of their 17 points have been on that three-point line tonight. Ibarra using those long arms to get a turnover. Reza with a great pass to David Pryor. Just spins right out, but Reza is there to put it right back in. Great teamwork by the Cardinals. And the Raiders will make a last attempt here in the first quarter. That buzzer sounds. First quarter has ended. Cardinals 19, Raiders 11. And you are watching tonight's 31-5-8 district matchup between the Harlingen Cardinal Varsity Boys and the PSJA North Raiders. As we start this second quarter here, Cardinals are leading 19-11. Finding Charlie Powers, a perfect bank shot there. Adding two more points on the board for the Cardinals. The Cardinals 
defense has come out strong, caused many turnovers here as they put on their full court pressure and their two-man trap. Once again, seeing an example of how that's just disrupted the North Raiders offense tonight. And Ibarra just once again using those long arms, teaming up with Ressa as they go up. And it will be a blocking foul on the Raiders, giving him a chance at a three-point play, sending him to the line to shoot a one free throw. The Raiders trying to quickly beat Harlingen's defense and advancing the ball. Looking for that open man. Officials will call a kickball on that. Tonight, PSJ North has on the floor number 23, Mark Ramirez. Number 33, Mike Casillas. Number two, Steve Solis. Number 12, Leon Badillo. And number 15, Paul Reyes. They are coached by Jaime Gogoria. The Raiders doing an excellent job of just battling, trying to get that shot in. Will be an out of bounds and will be North basketball, North Raiders basketball. North trying to strike from the three-point line. Great rebound there with efforts by Charlie Powers and Matthew Cervantes. Give Raiders an additional chance here. Shot will not fall, but Solis is there trying to get that up, and he gets the call. And Solis will be shooting two for the Raiders. Omar Hunter coming in for the Harlingen Cardinals. Matthew Cervantes coming up with that rebound. Gilbert Ressa quickly racing down the court. Piet Robles coming that in, giving it to Daniel Ibarra. Daniel Ibarra trying to find his way in there. Striking from the three-point line, and it's good. And the three-point line seems to be working great for the Cardinals tonight. North finding their own on the three-point line, just coming up short. Matthew Cervantes going in with a great spin move. Awesome left-hand layup right to the hole. Great shot for Cervantes. PSG North trying to make their way down there. Find an open man on the three-point line, decide to pass. That'll be Cardinal basketball. Finding Hunter under the basket, and he goes in for a perfect layup there. And Ibera, Ibarra with a clean steal. I believe his third of the night. Finding Matthew Cervantes. Matthew Sarat is just taking one, two, too many steps there as he gets that layup will be called on a traveling call. But great position by Cervantes. As we enter the second 
part of the second quarter. Cardinals have a score of 30, Raiders 12. Cardinals again just using a lot of defensive hustle plays here to create turnovers. Prior calling the play. Cardinals doing a great job of, of using their playbook tonight. Got Vesa shooting from that three-point line. Omar Hunter with a rebound and banks it in. Tonight for the Cardinals, we have Erwin Flores who came in and David Pryor as well on the floor. PSJ trying to get those three points. Will not fall. And Flores will be called on that traveling call. Giving that ball over to the Raiders. Cardinals choosing to slow it down again, calling the same play. Little miscommunication there. Will allow the Raiders to score too. Erwin Flores on the three-point line, trying to find Matthew Cervantes, gets stolen by Solis. And Solis gets that three-point play. We want to invite you to visit our district's website page at www.hcisd.org to check the schedule for replays of tonight's games. KHGN will be airing all home games. Please make sure you check out our Facebook page and our YouTube channel Access via the HEISD homepage for the latest information, photo galleries, and videos. Cardinals working the ball on the outside. Trying to find an open hole. Erwin Flotus pulls back for a jump shot, and it's good. Yes, Jay North. Trying to find an answer here. They will find it with number 23, Mark Ramirez, finding himself all alone down there in the paint for a perfect shot. Gilbert Vesa. Trying to find that ball. He finds David Pryor. David Pryor working the ball on the outside. We'll find Matthew Cervantes as he takes it right to the hole. Oh, and Flores there with a poke at the ball. Raiders trying to go in there. Matthew Savantes just getting that ball out. And the Cardinal defense has just stepped it up several notches tonight, just creating all types of turnovers. PSJ North able to find their way inside. That'll give us a score of the Cardinals, 36. PSJ North 21 here as we have about a minute and a half left in the first half of tonight's game. 31-5A Harlingen Cardinals versus the PSJ North Raiders. And with about a minute and a half left here in the first half, Cardinals have shown some extraordinary Gusto here on defense as Gilbert Vesa goes right to the basket. Fearless. Cardinal offense has also done a great job here of creating a 15 point lead.
David Park getting the hand on that ball. Omar Hunter working that ball. Finding Dressa on the outside. Dressa going in. Pulling up and creating that contact. Will go to the free throw line. We'd like, we'd like to take this time to thank Harlingen High School's principal, Emel de Munives, our superintendent, Dr. Steve Flores, and athletic director, Randy Creters, as well as all our HCISD school board members for making this possible. PSJ North coming up strong on that rebound, bringing that ball, racing down the court. But is fouled by 21, Pablo Martinez, who has entered this game here in the first half. <laughs> Several substitutions here for both teams. The Cardinals will bring in Erwin Flores, Daniel Ibarra, and Eric Brandenburg. PSJ North will bring in junior Mike Casillas and senior Mark Ramirez. Matthew Cervantes right on that rebound. Erwin Flores right to the basket. Does get fouled as he's racing to the hole. That'll be a blocking foul on the Raiders. And he about taking it right to the hole, gets a second chance points, but yes, does have a little hop on one of those on his foot and will be called on a traveling call as he was trying to rebound. PHJ North using the last 10 seconds here to try to answer the call before the halftime mark, but Ibarra go ahead and takes that straight ball and gets it up there. Brandenburg trying to get that second chance point, won't fall in. We end the first half with Cardinals 37, Raiders 22. And welcome to tonight's second half of 31-5A matchup between the Harlingen Cardinals and the visiting PSJ North Raiders. Cardinals leading this game from the very beginning with a current score of 37, Raiders 22. Gilbert Essa going straight to the basket and will be called on an offensive call. And in the first half, Cardinals just brought a lot of defense, creating a lot of turnovers, which propelled their offense with this 15-point lead that you now see. So let's see if that second half will bring the same thing here. Cardinals jumping out with two quick fouls here in the first minute of play. Raiders will be called on a travel. Ibarra, who has been a great leader and who is also a captain for this team, doing a great job tonight here shooting on defense and just setting up his team for some successful plays. PSG North attacking the basket, chooses a three-point line, and they score. That's 10, Adan Enriquez. That'll cut that lead down to 12. Raiders hoping to get a piece of that. Cardinals bringing it back. Matthew Cervantes will get the two points and the foul at the same time. 
and he will go to the free throw line to shoot one. I want to go ahead and recognize the coaches for both of these teams. Visiting team Raiders, Coach Jaime Gongoria, who is a seasoned coach, has been leading the Raiders uh, season after season. Also, Coach Greg Yates for the Harlingen Cardinals, who has also had a successful program here in Harlingen. The Raiders trying to bring that ball half court, going straight to the bucket, hoping to dish that ball to a teammate. A little too hard on that pass. We'll give the ball back to the Harlingen Cardinals. And both teams have done a great job of being unselfish with the ball. A lot of passing, a lot of sharing, a lot of teamwork tonight. Herbert Desai getting it to Ibarra. Ibarra will strike. Great jumper by Ibarra, the senior captain for this team. On a side note, Ibarra had a, also a great successful football year for the Harlingen Cardinals. So he is just bringing his leadership over onto this team like he did for the football team. Ressa hoping to post up Matthew Cervantes. Ball getting deflected. Raiders with an opportunity here to score. To the three-point line, hoping that it falls, and it does. And that, uh, again, Adan Enriquez, also a captain for the Raiders, and showing why he's a captain, able to come through for his team. We'll have a timeout on the floor. Great opportunity for coaches to take a moment to teach their team, set up some plays, and just organize their, their team on the court. Don't forget to visit our district's website at www.hcisd.org. And under the quick links, go to communications slash KHGN to check the schedule for replays of tonight's game. KHGN will be airing all home games. Also make sure to check out our Facebook page and YouTube channels for the latest information, photo galleries, and videos. The Cardinals will once again try to inbound that ball. Ibarra calling the, calling the play. That'll be a traveling call on Matthew Cervantes, who might have just done a quick shuffle of his feet while holding the ball up in the air. And the Cardinals with their starting five of the night, Ibarra, Charlie Powers, Matthew Cervantes, Piet Robles, and Gilbert Ressa doing a fine job for the Cardinals. Piet Robles with the rebound coming down that court finding his teammate, Re Gilbert Ressa. And that'll be a double dribble call on Ressa. And we have Jaime Garza coming in for the Cardinals. Number 10 trying to strike again at the three-point line. Just hitting that rim, but the Cardinals come up with the rebound. Jaime Garza racing to the basket, finds Matthew Cervantes down the lane. And it looks like that'll be an offensive call on the Cardinals as the Raiders defender was set under the basket.
and the Cardinals showing a lot of communication tonight on the court, talking, calling plays, helping each other out. Ibarra again, I believe that's his fourth steal of the night. Pablo Martinez coming in for the Cardinals. On the floor for the Raiders, we have Steve Solis, Captain Adan Enriquez, and let me go ahead and correct myself, Steve Solis, also a senior captain for the Raiders. Mark Ramirez, Mike Casillas, and number one, JJ Salazar. Steve Solis doing what a captain does, never giving up, and gets that shot in for the Raiders, bringing this game to a 10-point difference. Cardinals 42, Raiders 32, with about four minutes left in this third quarter. Charlie Powers finding that outside shot, and it goes in. That'll be a foul on the Cardinals. Raider basketball. Cardinals putting a lot of pressure here in the up court. And a little body contact there will cause a Cardinal foul. Raiders coming down the baseline, looking for that teammate there, number 23, Mark Ramirez. Ibarra working the ball, getting on the inside, finding Pablo Martinez. The Raiders getting a piece of that ball, but at the same time, creating some body contact. Wilson Martinez for the Cardinals to the line. He will shoot a pair free throws. Omar Hunter coming in for the Cardinals. And number one, Daniel Ramirez will also come in tonight for the Cardinals. Cardinals going man-to-man -man full court pressure and it, it proves to be successful as they cause a turnover here. And PSJ North responding in the same way with a man-to-man -man defense. And leaving one man all alone. Raiders able to get those two points. That'll be a traveling call on the Cardinals with about two and a half minutes left here in the third quarter. Cardinals 45, Raiders 36. Raiders trying to score from that three-point line. 
Hoping to get that rebound. Ball will go out of bounds. Will be Cardinal basketball. Cardinals calling out the play, making sure every member of their team knows the play. That's great communication. Omar Hunter going straight for the basket. PSJ North finds a way to answer back. We'll take a timeout here on the floor with a, looks like an, a nine point game. Cardinals 47, PSJ North 38. And we're closing in here on the last final two minutes of the third quarter. A miscued pass by the Cardinals will result in a Cardinal foul sending J.J. Salazar to the line for the Raiders. And the Cardinals did lead by as much as 15 at one point in this game. The lead is, has come down to nine points. So the Cardinals will be readjusting, working on that defense. Second free throw will fall. That'll bring the Raiders to 39. Anybody? Trying to use those arms to block that ball. Matthew Cervantes just doing the, exactly what his coach telling him to do. Put those hands straight up. Hoping for a jump ball here, but Ibarra will be called on that foul. And the Cardinals, having reached their foul count, will send the Raiders into bonus for the remainder of the game. Daniel Nomidis rebounding that quick outlet to Omar Hunter. Cardinals working that ball. Matthew Cervantes, David Pryor, Pete Robles. Cardinals doing a great job of just being patient, looking for the right opportunity to score. Being smart with the clock. High school games do not have a shot clock, so they can use as much time as they need. David Pryor going and finding the right opportunity scores. PSJ North trying to answer back. Daniel Amid is doing a great job of interrupting that offense. Creates a turnover. Will be Cardinal basketball. We have Gilbert Ressa, point guard, coming back in for the Cardinals. Cardinals trying to quickly advance that basketball, beating the North Raiders defense. Swinging that ball around the perimeter. David Pryor looking for the big bad Matthew Cervantes, and he gets that roll in for another two points. Here in the final 30 seconds of the third quarter, Cardinals have been able to stretch out that lead. Gilbert Vesa with a gusty pass here. Does get uh, blocked out by the Raiders. That'll be Cardinal basketball. Both teams will do a couple of substitution changes here. Pablo, Rami Pablo Martinez will be coming in for the Cardinals. For the Raiders, uh, 33, Mike Casillas. Cardinals trying to use the last 15 seconds here to score Ressa from the three-point line. Will not go. Raiders with seconds winding down. Will score from the three-point line, number 10, who has been pretty successful. And time runs out here in the third quarter. Final score, 
Cardinals 51, Raiders 39. And with a small momentum here at the end of the third quarter, Ra uh, Cardinals able to bring that lead back to 12 points. Gilbert Bessa for the Cardinals working the ball down the court. Pete Robles trying to work his way in, finds Charlie Powers for the drive. Powers getting that in and doing just what his name says, powering that ball right into the paint. The Cardinals have done a great job all night of using their offense and defense here to stay in control of tonight's game between the Cardinals and the Raiders. A key 31-5A matchup, as this district has been said to be one of the hardest and most competitive districts in the Valley in basketball. Cardinals currently in tie, excuse me, currently tie for third place. So a win tonight would give them a one game advantage. Pete Robles just working his way inside, getting height on that shot. Doesn't make it, but gets his own rebound, and that's what a coach likes to see. A player going for that second chance point. Raiders trying to go straight to the basket. They do that and gain that foul. We want to thank the Harlington High School principal, Mrs. Imelda Munives, our superintendent, Dr. Steve Flutis our school board members, and athletic director, Randy Creters. That ball just goes right in and out for the Raiders. David Pryor just trying to get that ball down, does get fouled. Little too much contact there by the Raiders defender. Another out of bound call. Cardinals will bring that ball in. Stolen by the Raiders. Ball deflected off of the knee of 23. Mark and Amidas from the Raiders. Give that ball back to the Cardinals. Gilbert Bessa using his ball handling skills to shake off those defenders, finding David Pryor on the baseline. Matthew Cervantes giving it right back to Bessa. Gets deflected by the Raiders. Gives the Cardinals another opportunity to work that ball in for the score. The Raiders just doing everything they can here to create a turnover. And another offensive call here for the Cardinals. That is their fourth one of the night. The Raiders bringing down that ball. Cardinals choosing to set up a half-court defense. Still working their man-to-man. -man. David Pryor on the run here with the ball. Out of bounds, Cardinals. That'll be Raider basketball.
David Pryor passing that to Gilbert Vesa. Gilbert Vesa going straight for the bucket. Finding Pete Elvis, but there was a whistle before the pass. Foul will be on 20, Rodney Rojas on the Raiders, but that'll be on the floor. Cardinals bringing it inbounds under their own basket. Vesa looking for an open man, finds Charlie Powers. They're able to rebound it. Vesa hoping to create some contact there on the shot. We have about five minutes left here in tonight's matchup between the Cardinals and the Raiders. Cardinals leading this game by 12, 53 to 41. Raiders resetting, bringing it back to the three-point line. That ball just spinning in and out of the rim. Cardinals using some quick passes. David Pryor's gonna attack that basket right away and gets the call. We got Daniel Ibarra coming in for the Cardinals. PSJ here finding some open space down here in the paint. Find a man under the basket at number 20, Rodney Rojas, successful there with adding, adding two points to his team's score, bringing it to 43. Matthew Cervantes with the outside jumper here. And there's a jump ball called on the court. And a lot of athleticism and toughness out here on the court by two great basketball teams. Charlie Powers trying to get that layup. Ibarra going up. Does get fouled in the process. Second free throw will fall for Ibarra, bring the Cardinals to 56. And both teams have reached their foul count. Uh, so both teams are in bonus here for the last three and a half minutes of the game. Solis with the ball, setting up his team. defense doing a great job of making it just a little hard for those for those Raiders to get that ball into the paint. Cardinals trying to force some outside shooting here by the Raiders. And Casillas will be called on that travel for the Raiders.
Cardinals here showing off a little ball handling skills. Finding Matthew Cervantes, doing a great job of finding David Pryor. Does get fouled. David Pryor will be shooting two free throws. Raiders bringing in number five, Dominique Barrera. Second free throw is good for Pryor. Pryor, another senior who has stepped up for the Cardinals. Doing a great job on defense. And the Raiders will bank that three-point shot. Number 23, Mark Ramirez, captain for the Raiders. That brings us to an 11-point game. Cardinals 57, Raiders 46. As we head into the final two minutes of tonight's 31-5A matchup between the Cardinals and the Raiders. And we're back from that timeout. And, and I must say, timeouts are one of my favorite times because I just love to see the coach interacting with his team, teaching them, instructing them, a lot of camaraderie, a lot of encouraging going on in those timeouts. So timeouts are very critical during a game. We have Joshua Tapia in for the Cardinals, number 20. Dapia also a senior on tonight's Cardinal team. Another timeout by the Cardinals. Coach Yates doing a great job of just organizing and setting up this team for success here, using these timeouts very strategically. And as we approach the final two minutes of tonight's game, Cardinals with a convincing lead here, 57-246. Hoping to keep this lead here in the final minutes. Raiders trying to find an open man here on the three point line. But a pass just a little too low goes right in between the legs of one of the. Raiders will cause a turnover here, giving the ball back to the Cardinals. Gilbert Lessa back in the game for the Cardinals. Some quick passes here by the Cardinals here, trying to move the ball quickly, looking for the open man. They find Matthew Cervantes underneath. Matthew Cervantes not able to finish, but does get the call. So we'll have an opportunity for two points. First free throw is good for Cervantes. Matthew Cervantes, who is one of two sophomores on the team, has just done a great job as being one of the younger members and just has shown up. He's part of the starting five, expecting some great things for Cervantes throughout the next couple years. Omar Hunter and Peter Hernandez joining the game here for the Cardinals. Number 10, trying to strike from the three-point line, and it's good. Adan Enriquez, who has done a great job from the three-point line for the Raiders, will cause a timeout here on the floor. That'll bring us to a 10-point game, 59 to 49 with about a minute left. It'll be Cardinal basketball. Omar Hunter bringing that in with a long football pass, what it looks like to Daniel Ibarra, and he gets those two points. 
Both of those players a little reminiscent of football season as both were great players for that Cardinal football team there. Matthew Cervantes coming up strong on the rebound. Cardinals trying to get it out of their backcourt. Crossing half court. And the Cardinals gonna do a great job here of just using up the clock a little bit. Finding Matthew Cervantes on a great dish pass. Great teamwork tonight. Both teams have, have been coached by two great um, and seasoned coaches here. We have the Raiders by Coach Jaime Gungoria, Harlingen Cardinals by Coach Greg Yates. And as the game winds down here in the final couple of seconds, looks like this will be a Cardinal victory and will give them a one game advantage as they are trying to keep their position here in the top spots in District 31 5A. Final score for tonight's game, Cardinal 63, Raiders 49. Again, we want to thank Principal Imelda Munivas, our Superintendent Dr. Steve Flores, Athletic Director Randy Creters, and all the school board members for making this possible. My name is Beatrice Cruz. I was the announcer for tonight's game. Our camera operator is George Baca. Our KHGN director is Shane Struhart. Please take some time to visit our website at www.hcisd.org and check out the schedule for replays of tonight's game. Thank you and good night.